I was hoping that you wouldn't mention it. What do you think you're trying to prove? Excuse me? Look, I don't think there's any point in wasting company time going over accounts and projects that we no longer have and we're not likely to get back again. Oh, but I think we can. No, we can't. We won't. You won't. Is that clear? And if you think that you're undermining me, we should move it. to the company. But doing this... <laughs> Listen, Laura, I just found out something I think you ought to know. It was Kelsey who lost the account with Reed Security System, so I... I was wondering where they put you. Cows out to pasture. Beautiful. How are you? Oh, start with another question. Oh, that good, huh? Would you, uh, do you like a drink? Oh, isn't it a little early? It's three o'clock. Travel management starts ringing at 11. Jim. Want some ice? No, deep. There we go. Maybe, uh, this will make you feel a little better. Thanks. What's wrong? It's not working. What? The job, the move. What's the trouble? <laughs> I'd have to cheer up before I could kill myself. Then there's hope. Maybe. Maybe I can't do this. Uh, I don't like that word, can't. Well, neither do I. But I'm not sure I have what it takes to be superwoman. Well, what's that? Someone who runs a corporation by day and a quiz on heart by night? I don't need this. Why did you move 3,000 miles? Maybe I made a mistake. You mean, maybe I made a mistake? I make very few mistakes, Laura. And I admit to even fewer. That's how I got here. That's how I'll stay here. I suggest you do the same. I have work to do. Don't you? I came here prepared to resign. I know. You did? I've known you a long time. I also know that you can do it. You just get tough. Fight back. Forget that I'm here. In time, they will too. I would rather resign than be fired. For my pride. No matter what the truth is, the fact is that even if you do resign, they'll still say they fired you. For the company's pride. Just, uh... One of the games Mother never taught you. I'm sure I can help you. Just tell me what sort of image you want to project. I want to look like a woman who won't take crap. Something with epaulets. Laura? Oh, it's Kitty. you! Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> Kitty Stadler, oh, what are you doing I'm here? Well, I'm fantasizing. <laughs> well, what are you doing in New York? You on vacation? No, we've moved here, actually. Really? Why do I find that so frightening? Oh, no, listen, I felt the same way when Bob got transferred. Really? I thought I was going to ruin my life, yeah. But I adjusted after six months in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's Bob? Oh, he's got a new job. He's doing oh, great. Wonderful. So am I now that I'm back at work. What are you doing? I'm working at Wakeman. What else? You're kidding. Yeah. So am I. Yes. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. 
I'm on the fifth floor in accounting exec sec to Howard Sackalow. How about you? Uh, seven. Oh, you're working for a project director. No, actually, um, they made me a project director. Laura! Oh, oh I'm oh, so I impressed. Oh. Not to mention jealous. Oh. oh, God, David must be so proud. Ah, uh, to tell you the truth, I think he wishes I was still a secretary. <laughs> Listen, how about coffee? How about lunch? Tonight, 7.30? No, no, <laughs> no, no, this week, can do? Yes, yes I'd love okay, it. I'll call you tomorrow. Okay, good. Okay, tell me again, where are you? Fifth floor, fifth floor. counting Howard Sackalow. You look wonderful. Oh, thanks. Say love it, David. home. I will, can't wait to tell him. How does this strike you? Like something General Patton might have worn. Charlie, I'm going to tell you something, and I don't want you to give me any flack. I'm changing our meeting tomorrow till one o'clock. You're giving me flack, Charlie. Okay. Good. Goodbye. Do you know why they assigned you to me? They are trying to impress me with their fairness. But is it fair for them to send me a woman? Is it fair of them to send me to a woman? Okay. Let's hear your spiel. I don't have a spiel. Well, then why are you wasting my time? I don't have a prepared spiel. You have a problem. I think my company can solve it. Why don't you show me around your plant, and then we can talk specifics, and that way neither of us will waste our time. Most people think that I inherited a company from my husband. What I inherited was a bankruptcy. But we're into profits now, and our products are among the finest made. Hi, Mike. Miss Bruce, how are you? Do you know that I made it happen? Yes, I do. Wrong. My workers made it happen. Hi, how are you? And I made them do it. I think your products are great. Your prices are competitive. Yep. So the question arises as to why you're not selling more. I read your file. Seems to me the wholesale market out there doesn't know anything about you or how good you are. And I think that's the problem. We can sell, but we just have to introduce you to each other. How about lunch? You don't eat lunch. How do you know that? I read it. I read. I read everything. You usually eat lunch on the run, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your game plan? Well, I won't know that until you tell me I've got your project. Well, I'm not talking about my business. I'm talking about your career. Where do you want to go with it? I just want to do a good job. There's no such thing as a good job at your level. You're either moving up the ladder or you're moving down. And if you're moving down, you're moving out. Well, I'm not moving out. You're not, huh? No, I'm not. Tell you what you do. You make a preliminary study. You show me what you can do for us. But pass on me in for next week, huh? <laughs> Pencil you in. I can't believe I said that. Just an expression you use at work, huh? You and the guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, honey. But you wait. I won't bring any work home this weekend. You look to my ears. I'm even going to cook. Hallelujah. If we eat Chinese takeout one more time this week, we'll have to apply for dual citizenship. <laughs> Listen to me. This weekend, I'm going to cook enough for 40 meals. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. And then we can go shopping for furniture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we can read the New York Sunday Times. Are we getting to the good part now? <laughs> well, you'll find out. <laughs> hey, did you pick up my jacket at the cleaners? David, would you do it during the laundry? Catherine, the grocery store. Honey, I'll make this up to you. I bet you will. Oh, no. I need to run now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, okay. 
Don't get me wrong, Pete. All I'm saying is I think you were very brave in hiring a woman with no experience. That's all. What do you mean, no experience? I don't. Good. Duke Shermer yeah. told me she's been doing the work of a staff analyst for the past three years. Look, look, I'm not saying she's incompetent. She may be a real good utility player after a while. It just takes so long exactly. to bring someone in. That's all. Come on in, Tim. Come on. Sorry to disturb you. I just wanted you to have the Brewster report for the weekend. All right, thanks. You got anything on? Uh huh, yeah. Dinner with my husband. Your husband a basketball fan? The yep. Celtics are in town. Yes, I know. They're right for town on the road so far. Night. 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 Hey, hey, did oh, you still that? Huh? She knows about the Celtics. <laughs> She's trying to be one of the boys. With a body like that, how could she? Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. So the entire questionnaire will have to be restructured with we'll save the embarrassing questions for last. What survey method are we using, huh? What about a telephone survey? Oh, yeah, right. Hello. I'd like to take a moment of your time to ask you 45 questions about shopping and shopping. Okay. Perhaps we could try an area sample. You do that credit card list. What about a mail questionnaire? You could do a magazine well, insert. Well, why not just conduct an area sample of Manhattan blocks and then choose a random sample? Good idea, Porter. I think so, too. I even liked it when Laura suggested it. I really appreciate what you did in there. <sighs> Thanks, but I didn't do it for you. I did it for me. I can't stand the guy. Oh, may I take you to lunch? Great. <laughs> I know, just the place. What's happening It's not just because you're a woman. You're a newcomer. You're up from the ranks of the lower echelon. Of course you're getting heat. It's all part of the game. They're threatened. And you're not, huh? I know that having good people around is going to help me, not hurt me. Also, I'm not hung up on women in business. My business school class was one sixth female. All right. The way I see it, the only difference between men and women is that women look better in bikini. <laughs> is that sexy? Oh, I don't think so. So, are you married or are you living with somebody? I'm looking. <laughs> yes, I can see that. <laughs> The thing that you've got to remember is that business is one big game. Everybody is a player. And if you don't know how to play, you're going to get clobbered. I know the feeling. Start by learning the rules. Rules? Rules? Yeah, rules. Things like always follow the chain of command. Recover your fumbles. Play to their weak side. Never look secretary. You try to teach me that one, I think. Huh? Hold up, hold up, man. Hold, hold. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, let's review. No crying, no excessive jewelry, and mustaches look better on men than they do on women. Anything else? <laughs> oh, yeah. Never beat a direct superior at squash. Oh, well, there's no fear of that. I don't play squash. Then learn. Ginger, when you get a moment, order me some personal stationery, please. You can just call the mail room. No, you can just call the mail room. Why are you talking to me like that? Because I am your boss. Look, Ginger, it might not be so bad working for a woman. I'll never ask you to pick up my shirts at the laundry.
hate sweaters. No, no, I can't. He thinks I love sweaters. I hurt his feelings. Kill him. This is true. <laughs> oh, the two of us. I'm telling you, if we could harness our guilt, it would rival solar energy. Sure. <laughs> Give me that, please. What? That crack this. What kind of diet energy you want? David! In the kitchen. Oh, you cooked! This may come as a surprise to you, but I get hungry around this time every night. <laughs> Probably a habit from years of eating dinner before 9 o'clock. Oh, sorry I was so late. I you was were in a conference, conference with, with a client. client. Yes. Oh, it looks lovely. It's beautiful, darling. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're doing my material. You're up to something. What is it? What Never mind. You? Just drink. Remember, reality is a crutch for those who can't take booze. <laughs> They're all... Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't think it's so. Wonderful. It's wonderful. Great, honey. It's really... Actually, there is something I'd like to get your opinion about. Okay. Is this a joke? No. Vivian would like to introduce me to some of the top people in the New York art world. That's great. Yeah, the thing is, she wants a thousand dollars. What? The introductions. I thought an agent only takes a commission from what sells. That's bucks. It seems the uh, art scene here has its own way of doing things. It's a kind of game. What do you think? Well, it's your decision. Still, I'd like to have your opinion. It doesn't seem to me you can buy your way in. If it's good, it seems to me somebody will notice. Are you saying you think my work isn't any good? No, I'm not saying that. It's good, but it's not that good, not a thousand dollars worth. David, it I... It seems to me your work's important enough. Reports, conferences, squash. It's beginning to feel like you've got time for everything except for me and my needs. Now you know that's not true. Do I? I said I was sorry I was late. I was in a conference with oh, a client, a please, very important client. Please, spare me the details. All right, let me see. You resent my talking about my business, not spending time with you, even learning squash. What don't you resent? Probably nothing. See, I've got all this free time nowadays. I've been developing new interests. Resentment is one of them. Well, do it alone! That should be easy. I'm alone most of the time. Keep this up, it'll be even more! I didn't mean that. I really thought you were pleased by my work. Well, I am, but I don't like everything about it. I, you don't like everything about I it. I would just like to feel that I have your support. <laughs> you do. Not financial, of course. David, will you stop joking? Stop taking yourself so seriously. Somebody has to. You stop looking like you were sent to the principal every time you come in here. I just read the report you did on Brewster Industries. I like it. What's more important, Martha Brewster loved it. She wants to become a continuing client. Sherman told me you were good. I didn't realize how good. Oh, thank you. So there's another choice account up for grabs, T&R Foods. It's a uh, frozen food company that they can become a fast food chain. You want to be among those considered for the project? Very much so. Good. I always admire those who are not adverse to advancement. What are you doing in here? You scored big. But I'd be careful if I were you. If you get to be too successful and your husband doesn't make it as a sculptor, he might find himself another lady. Again. I had to find out what you had at stake, so I knew how hard you'd be playing. Why are you doing this? Oh, come on. You can't expect to be the only player who gets to run with the ball. We all want to score the touchdowns. That's why we're here, isn't it? Will you leave? I know a lot about you, Laura. Now it's time I told you a little something about me. See, I got a daughter in finishing school in Paris, a mother in the hospital, and a wife who likes to wear designer clothes. That takes money, lots of money. I want it. 
I need it. Fine, now just get out. No, 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 you don't seem to realize this concerns you too, Laura, whether you like it or not. I'm not going to be benched for a rookie. If you don't leave immediately, I'm going to call security. Oh, is that a threat? Oh, do I hear a threat? Well, I got one for you too, dear. You go after that project, and I'll make your life even more miserable than it's been. And our foods is mine. We'll just see about that. That no good. Right in your own law. Sitting there with your feet on my desk. Good shot. I thought, you know, it hazed me a couple of times. It stopped humiliating uh, me, but. Uh, no. Not no way. He's not going to stop until he just goes takes on him. and on. We'll have to figure out some strategy. Strategy. For him. Uh, I'd like to kill him. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> Heads up now. Get it. We'll talk about it over lunch today, all right? I can't. I'm having lunch with my friend Kitty. Don't lunge for the ball. Don't lunge for the ball. Position and then hit it. Who's Kitty? You saw her the other day. Kitty, you know, the one oh, in the yeah. elevator. Oh, yeah. She worked at Wakeman? Yeah, for Howard Sagalow in accounting. Secretary? An executive secretary. Not good for your image to have oh, lunch with secretaries. Please, stop. She's an old That's friend. Good shot. Stop. Watch it. Pow! What? Hi, you. <laughs> All right. Good volley. Now, listen. I'm an old friend, too. Oh, come on. We go way back. We knew them in L.A. Now, please, Steve, give me a break, huh? Good shot. Nice hit. That's it. Keep your arm back. Let me tell you one other thing. You can't afford to look secretarial. You don't want to do anything to jeopardize tea and our foods. Alan Porter's a competitive guy. He's telling everybody in the office that you don't stand a chance. I'm telling everybody that you do. I'd hate to be wrong. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Lose this game. Game? I didn't know we were playing a game. Then you didn't have a chance. Did you? In a situation like this, your reputation works both for and against you. You're known, but you're known only for frozen foods. To diversify, you'll have to re-educate the public. How do you propose we do that? Aha. Uh -huh. All right, I've looked over I your thought phone. I heard you, Dwayne Hilson. Earth. <laughs> How are you? Well, thank you, sir. You stole me 50 bucks from the Army Navy game. Well, Alan, please, we're Army, having a meeting here. Huh? I have to be back at the office. Alan, you know, that please. Way go if you're going to be sober by then. Alan! Oh, Laura, honey. Let me think on it. Uh, yeah, he thinks better with a martini in his hand. I invite you along, but he's an animal when he drinks. Uh, <laughs> you're pretty, you're looking great. Mr. Sacklow's office. Hi, Kitty. I'm sorry I can't make lunch today. I'm, I'm sorry not to give you more notice than this. Oh, okay, well, how about tomorrow, then? I think I'm busy tomorrow. I'm sorry. Well, okay, how about next week? Let me check my schedule and get back to you, okay? Yeah, okay. I'll call you soon. Sure. David, your work is extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. Thanks. Oh, great, great strength. I love it. And these two pieces, absolutely beautiful. And this piece... Wow. Well, this is a new direction for you, but I like it. I really like it. It's harder. More, I don't know, angular. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well. Really, really beautiful. Are you ready for that picnic lunch you brought? I love it. I am so excited about this. I'm going to expand that. Oh, you know, okay. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Laura, come and join us. Don't let me interrupt. Oh, no, you're not interrupting anything, really. I was just looking at David's work. He's so talented, so skillful. So sneaky. Laura! Laura! She just wanted to see what we've done with the place. I'd like to believe that. Then do. I made that mistake 12 years ago. For six months, you were at a ceramic class twice a week, remember? And then suddenly classes started meeting every night. She's a friend, that's all. Nothing's happened. Look, you have male friends. Can't I have female friends? Of course you can, if that's all she is. Besides, this is business, too. Do I question you when you have drinks with a client? Oh, the hell with it. You either trust me or you don't. It's your problem, not mine. David. David, I do trust you. Good. Honey, let's have an extra special dinner tonight, okay? I've made no other dates. Okay. late. It was an intense day. For me, too. Weinstock Galleries refused to give me a show. Not one of Vivian's introductions has panned out. How long has it been? Two months. Two months? It took Michelangelo's agent five years to get him the Sistine Chapel. Little joke. Your work is good, and someday everybody's going to know it. Oh, we're having dinner with Bob and Kitty on Saturday night. Oh, oh, I don't think so, sweetheart. What's happening to us? Nothing. We're the same as we always were. Are we? Of course. Forget about this stuff. Let's go inside and hold each other. I love it. I'll be in in a second. There's just one article I have to read. Damn it, can't you leave your work alone for one night? When is probation going to be over? David, I need this one project. And after this project, you'll need another project, and then a promotion, and then a new office, and then a new title, and where will it all stop? And when will we start again? You can't just put a marriage on hold and expect it to be the same when you're ready to continue it. What are you saying? I'm saying I want you. If you want me, now's the time. I want things to be the way they were. You want to go back to L.A.? I want to go back to Columbus. Did I ever tell you you were the most beautiful girl at Ohio State? No. You used to say it was the most practical. That too. You said you fell in love with me at first sight to save time. <laughs> I did. <laughs> you were so handsome. You still are. Sometimes, just seeing you at the end of the day makes it all worthwhile. Truth? I know it's ridiculous, but you're working and me not. It'd be different if I were selling some pieces of her more successful. It was dark. 
dumb of me to give that money to Vivian, thinking something would come out of it. I've decided I'm going to go around to the galleries myself. What do you think, kiddo? Frozen juice, egg slightly scrambled but not bruised, a burnt British un poquito de café. Well, oh, you're welcome. Oh, well, you're in a great mood. You want to know why? I know why. Oh, something wonderful has happened. Yeah, I was there too. I got up early to do some reading this morning. Yeah. Our company has employed a new survey company which cannot compare to the one we used to have. Oh. A few of my clients asked me to find out why, so I pulled the file. Well, it turns out that we're paying them three times the money to do half the work of the old company. Now, what does that suggest to you? Stupidity. Something cozy's going on. I think a bribe. There's no other explanation. Somebody in your company's a crook. Yes. What's so wonderful about that? I discovered it. Honey, when I point this out to Kelsey, he'll be so grateful I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he just handed me the TNR Foods project. Don't you see that? What's the matter with you? You're beginning to scare me. Oh, David, you just don't understand business. No, I guess I don't. Bye, honey. I guess I don't. You woke me up. You woke my girlfriend up, Laura. I'm in love. I'm in love. I want you to meet her. She's everything Walk. I've... Somebody's cheating us. What? A client asked me why we're not with Larchmont Pulley anymore, so I pulled the file. We've made an exclusive deal with the Girl Act Survey Group for three times the money, and they don't match the service. Well, why would we do that? Kickback. Somebody's getting rich off of it. And we can take this to Kelsey together. Have you told anybody else of about this? Of course not. Good. Don't. Put that file back where it belongs. What? Are you crazy? It's too dangerous, Laura. What happens if you inform top management and it's something that they would rather not know? How could that be? Somebody's stealing from them. Stealing what? is your word. You don't know if that's true of or not. Of course I know. You've got to read this, Steve. You don't know who's behind this. And whoever it is might be making a very shrewd business deal that can bring the company tenfold profit over a three-year period. It's like advertising. You spend... Spend one minute to make that ten minutes. You spend to get. Now, the specifics of that should not be common knowledge. There have got to be some secrets within oh, the company. No, I think we've got to talk to Kelsey about this. You and Laura, I Laura, don't make waves. It could get you fired. And you might have been wrong all along. It's a club, Laura. Protect your membership in it. Does the CIA tell the FBI everything? Does the FBI tell the State Department everything? Does the State Department tell the president everything? Did Harry Truman tell Bess everything? What about Lady Bird? What about Lyndon? Hi, hey, Mom. Honey, Laura Bentel? Hi, Kitty. How are you? No, I'm, I'm, I'm busy all week. I, I'll call you, okay? There was no secretary There's out there. There's never a secretary out there. Mm -hmm. I have wonderful news. I found a guy who wants to buy one of my pieces. Oh, David! David. He thinks I'm great. Oh, how wonderful. Mm. Oh, which one? The wave. My favorite. Oh, <laughs> He says I'm brilliant. You are. Mm -hmm. of Let's celebrate. You Let's are. go out to lunch. Oh, I'd love it. I can't. I have an appointment. And well, I can't. break it. No, I can't. Huh? It's with the guy from TNR Foods. I can't break it. We'll celebrate tonight at dinner, okay? Tonight's your office party. Oh, damn. Well, pencil me in sometime. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. This weekend, why don't we go away somewhere? Where? Anywhere, I don't care. Don't even tell me. Surprise me. And I'll surprise you. 
What? I won't even take a file folder. Hmm? A whole weekend without work, uh -huh. what will we do? Oh, gee, I don't know. I think of something. Sure. Here's your elevator. See tonight. My husband. Sure. Oh. Kitty gonna be here? No. Why not? Oh, listen, do not say anything about that little irregularity I found, okay? You mean the fraud? <laughs> David, it may not be a fraud. What else could it be? Lester! Oh, I'm Laura. Right. Laura, how are you? Lester nice to see you. Green, this is my husband, David. Ah, David, a lot about you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Thanks. So, uh, what are you doing? I'm a sculptor. Ooh. Hey! <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, what do you do for a living? Oh, I collect stamps. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's real cute. <laughs> Great gal. Thank you, later. So, this is your husband, after He's all. He's going huh? to the office today. And this is your wife. Hi, Elaine. Laura. Hi. David. Alan. If I had a wife like her, I'd keep her at home. Oh, but you don't. Lucky for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she's a great little kid. Well, enjoy. <laughs> Women like Elaine used to look at the working woman and think that there was something wrong with her. Now she looks at the working woman and she thinks there's something wrong with her. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Steve Clark. Hi. You must be David, the magnificent man that puts up with her crazy work. That's yeah. him. He's a fresh one. Mm -hmm. I like you to meet David. Hello, David. Hello. And Laura, my favorite woman at work. Hi, Hi Laura. This is Carol, my favorite woman out of Hi. work. Hi. Wow, thanks a lot. Well, no, I don't mean that she's unemployed or anything. I mean, she's got a good job. We know what you mean. I think I'll get some more germs. Enough for four? Thank you. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Oh, she's lovely, just like you said. No, this isn't the girl that I was talking about. I said you said you were in love. Well, I am, but Carol's not the one. Excuse me, I've got to mingle. I didn't think it was possible. You're even more beautiful than a girl. Oh, Dwayne Helson, this is David. Her husband. Oh, yes. The best ones are always married. Uh -huh. Dwayne is vice president of Teodoro Foods. Oh, I like your egg rolls. <laughs> How did the survey come oh, out? Well, it'll be on your desk first thing in the morning. I'm sure it'll be brilliant. Well, I like to think it is. I wish I could see it now. <laughs> you understand, don't you? Not really. <laughs> Give me one. Okay. okay. Diversification. Diversification? Yeah. No, I don't. Yes. There's no large scotch. Oh, look at all of them. Look at Carol. Steve hasn't talked to her all evening. He just brought her because she makes a very good impression. And that's Jennings Lockman over there. He's on his way out. And he knows it. They're gathering to push him out the door. And you? You're the corporate husband. You don't remember me, do you? You're Elaine. We met. Yes, I know. Corporate wife cooks, entertains, and has sex on demand. What exactly are the chores of the corporate husband? Not making impolite remarks to people like yourself. <laughs> I like you. Must be the dimples. You think I don't understand? You. I do, you know. You're no different. You know what my psychiatrist says? No, what does your psychiatrist say? He says, we are the emotionally starved, grasping at the emotionally drained. Good present.
presentation, Lockman. Very well prepared. And for once, it's not boring. <laughs> <laughs> Who's handling Regency appliances now that Andy Remsen's left? Uh, hasn't been reassigned. I'll be happy to do it. Oh, good. Can you go up to Boston and meet the client on Thursday? Sure. Through Sunday? Four days? Four fun-filled days. The convention. You'll be missing work. Be sure to bring a note for your parents. And... <laughs> <laughs> we'll all be there. Be glad he asked you. All of our regular clients will be there, as well as a lot of companies that haven't discovered as yet, so this will be a mission to show the flag. Hey. Get him, get him. Da -da -da -da. Ah. Uh, Mr. Kelsey, yeah. is there any way someone else could meet with Regency Appliances? Well, you just volunteered. I have important weekend plans. May I remind you that you're still on probation? I think you indicated an interest in T&R Foods. What are you saying? Cancel your plans. Mrs. Bentels, would you like to see Mr. Shermer? Uh, no, no, uh, it's not necessary. darling. Let me give you a clue about where we're going this weekend. You don't have to be able to speak Swahili. You're not going to need your earmuffs, and you don't have to worry about getting lots of restock. Okay, that's enough. Shut inside. your eyes and let me take you David, to the David, I have paradise. to go to Boston on a business meeting this weekend. Didn't you tell them you were busy? Of course I did. But they didn't care. No, they don't care. Well, say you can't do it. I tried to. Tell I... them it's an emergency. There's no getting out of it. Why are you doing this? Oh, do you think I like this? Do you think I like being told what to do, not to have any choice? You have plenty of choice. That's what this is about, choice. You've chosen your job over your marriage. No, I haven't. This is, we're talking about one weekend That's here. right, one weekend. Why can't you give me one weekend? Why can't you forget this project, this trip? And for one minute, this damn job. It's not just a job, it's a career. Well, whatever it is, it's wrecking our life. Okay, fine. What do you want me to do, quit? I am not asking you to quit. I am asking you for one weekend alone with me. And I'm telling you, I can't give you this weekend. I have to go to Boston on a business meeting. We're... Why can't you understand no, that? we're not talking about a business trip. We're not talking about a weekend. We're talking about you and me. Why can't you understand that? <laughs> Door. Had to slip the bell out five bucks to unlock it. Then I guess I'll have to slip them ten to lock it up again. Nice room. Nice small, but nice. I got a suite in case I get lucky. Uh, I admit it. I admit it. Convention mentality? No mentality. <laughs> Couldn't talk David into coming, huh? No, he's furious with me. Well, don't let it get you down. It'll interfere with your fun. Fun? You don't expect to do any work this weekend, I do you? I sure hope so. Why else would I give up a weekend with David for a weekend with Porter? As a favor to Mrs. Porter? I don't care about Mrs. Porter. <laughs> Neither does Mr. Porter. Would you, can you please make yourself useful? This is Laura Bentels here. Laura? Hi, my name is Patrick. Hello. And uh, I'm yours for the evening. Excuse me? I've been bought for you. Oh, Porter! Oh. Oh, no. Um, Patrick? It's Patrick. Uh, I think that your being sent to me is a mistake. No. I've already been paid. Oh. Um, well, then just keep the money and take the night off and save your body. Is that your plan? Yes, yes. <laughs> when does Regency Appliances get here? Sometime tomorrow. Then why did we have to be here tonight? It's a 
exposure. It's good for the company. And bad for the marriage. Have you reached him yet? Can I join you guys? Do we have a choice? Hey, where's your name tag? Oh, hold. How'd you like my gag? I'd like to gag you. <laughs> Kelsey here yet? I decided not to come. Give the lady a break order. Hey, I don't want her to get a swelled head. You don't want her to get DNR food. Yeah, that too. Hi there. that the guy from Girl Act Survey? I think so. Well, why don't we just go over there and ask him a few questions about that very interesting contract we made with him, huh? Don't be foolish, I know Lord. you keep telling me that it's not a fraud, but it keeps coming back to my mind, and I have this feeling, I have this, this sense. Woman's this, intuition. Okay, okay, right. Call it a gut feeling, okay? Anyway, I've got it. Come on, let's go. Come here, come here. Come here. <sighs> I know why we're with Girl Act. Maybe I'm crazy to talk to you like this. But I think you're one of us now, and you'll understand. Understand what? Why Lester signed that bum contract. Lester? He had a drinking problem. He'd lost a few accounts. He was worried about getting fired. Gerlach offered to deliver him three new accounts if he could get them the contract. So that whole story you told me about how you spend a million to make Ten million was a lie? Yeah, I had to wait until I was certain that you were, excuse the expression, a company man. Look, Laura, Lester is my sponsor at Wakeman. He brought me into the company. He's my sponsor in the same way that Shermer's your sponsor. Without him at Wakeman, my future would be zip. Zero. So our clients are taking the damage because of your future. Our company is losing thousands of dollars every week for the sake of your future? And Lester's. I owe him. Well, that whole spiel you gave me wasn't to protect Lester. It wasn't even to protect me. It was to protect you. No, no, that's oh, not yes. true. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wow. You really sucked me in. I trusted you. Thought you were my friend. Never forget the first rule of business. Trust nobody. Operator, would you try that New York number again, please? Thank you. Mr. Kelsey. Well, hello, what, Laura. What are you doing here? I was told you weren't coming. Well, what genius told you that? Porter. Well, I told you I'd be here, so I'm here. Where are you going? There's something I have to do. There's something you have to do right here. Not this weekend, Mr. Kelsey.
last night, did you? No, you I didn't. Well, a little late for the beheading, aren't you? Boy, I admire your guts. Facing the execution. It's all part of the game, you know? Serve it. Oh, is that a little uh, nervousness I hear? Hostility. You're going to find this hard to believe, but I'm sorry you're going to be canned. You went from being an annoyance to a worthy opponent. And I've enjoyed our little competition. Sure you did. Hey, no, I know you've got every reason to be a little bitter. But you reap some benefits, too, huh? Toughened you up a little, right? And if you're worried about finding another job in this business, forget it. No, I mean it. It's easy. You fail upward. Is that what happened to you? Me? No. I didn't fail upward. I didn't fail downward. My problem is I stayed in the same damn position for the last 10 years. But at least I know where my office is, right? No, your problem is you're such a sleep. No, that's not it. My problem is everyone knows about it. I make all the right moves, but everybody can see my moves. The real player's moves are invisible until it's too late. Watch this move. Mr. Kelsey wants to see you. Thank I you. I just want you to know that I hope he's not too hard on you. I was always jealous of you. Not now. It's going to be a drag to see you go. Kind of got used to having you around, if you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. Okay, so it was a lousy contract. You think that justifies leaving a convention that I ask you to attend? No. If there's one thing that I cannot tolerate, it's disloyalty to the company. Say, do you want to try and explain to me why you took a walk? To save my marriage. Oh, you expect my heart to go pity pat? I don't expect you to understand why I did it. I love this job, Pete, but I cannot always put the needs of the company before my own. Tell me about your needs. I need to feel I have integrity. I don't like being told to keep my mouth shut not to make waves, and I need a personal life. When I say I can't make a business trip, I expect you to understand I have a damn good reason. Are you reason. true? You better say yes. Yes. You should have made the waves. Then we could have gotten rid of Lester earlier. You fired him? No, he quit this morning. He's got a job at Maya Consulting across the street. I can wave to him every morning. I'm sure he was stiffed off. Second, I want to tell you what I think about marriage and its relationship to business. Sit down. My first wife left me because all I ever did was work. So what did I do? I married my secretary, feeling that uh, if anybody could understand me, then she could. What did she do? <laughs> she left me. So, I have uh, sacrificed everything for my job. I made my choice. I don't know what you're going to do, but I do expect you to get it squared away. Now, I probably should fire you. But I'm going to give you a second chance. Because I think you're worth it. Thank you. <laughs> As for T and R Foods, I gave that to Steve. Steve? I didn't even know he wanted it. A much shrewder game plan than Porter's. For sure. Oh, he also got Lester's job. Oh, yes, of course. There's another new account here. It's called Sigtel Cable. It's uh, got much more growth potential than TNR Foods. We're all very excited about it here at Wakeman. I want you to handle it. Thanks, Pete. Thanks. Really took a risk, didn't you? Calculated risk. I mean, I could just as well have fired you as kept you on. You knew that, didn't you? Sure. But you took it. Yes. If work ever gets to be too much, tell me. You'll lessen the load? I'll lengthen the week. <laughs> Kitty! Kitty, I'm oh, so glad to see you. How oh, are you? I'm fine. Uh, uh, can we have lunch? Um, listen, I'm kind of busy. Oh, Kitty, please. Uh, well, let me, I'll check my calendar and see. Girl, don't do that, Kitty, please. Have lunch with me. Please say yes. My treat. Choice a restaurant? Absolutely. <laughs> You're on. <laughs>
Is tomorrow too soon? No, tomorrow's all right. Okay, I'll call you. Bring a lot of money. Oh, I'm <laughs> I gotta get, get back it. to work. <laughs> okay, I'll call you. Okay. Well, I guess you can have lunch with anybody you want now that you're out of the lineup. Well, well, Steve, for once you don't know everything. I may have to understand the game, but there's more than one way to play it. You didn't get the hook? You tried so hard to talk me out of turning Lester in. How did you not still do it? It's your nature. Uh, you wanted his job. You just didn't want anybody to know you were the one taking him out. Yet you warned him. Sure. Second rule of business. Be nice if it doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, congratulations on T&R Foods. Thanks. Steve. Steve. Yes, See you on the planning field. I've been back since Friday. Really? I came home early. Thought we might go to Bermuda. I guess you wondered where I was. <laughs> oh, well, it crossed my mind. If you don't want to, you don't have to tell me. Maybe I don't deserve to know. I'll tell or you. Or maybe I just really don't want to know. I've really made a mess of things. It wasn't all your fault. Please let me finish. I never chose the job over you. I just thought we were indestructible. I guess nothing is. I just had to prove to myself that I could be a success, that I could be good. So I gave the job everything. Thought about it every moment, even in my sleep. Gave up my weekend, my friends, my husband. Well, <clears throat> Lester Green quit this morning. The company goes on. Whether with you or without you, it doesn't matter. It's only here, in our marriage, that I know if I do things right, I am indispensable. Now, I know I can't have it all, but I sure do want a lot. Laura, I went to L.A. this weekend to work out my future. Oh. oh. Well, guess I'm too late. I went home. And I sat there in that big empty house all day and all night, thinking. Remembering all the good times we had there. and feeling angry at you for taking us away from there. But as I sat there all alone in the dark, 
I realized something terrible about myself. I never expected you to succeed. I had to let you try it so that everyone would see that I was a good guy. I never wanted you to fail. But deep down, I always assumed that we'd be going back to L.A. And I guess I thought I'd be taking the New York art scene by storm. So when I saw your career taking off, and I'd only sold one piece, I had to face the fact that I may never be a big success as an artist. But you know what? What? I'm a great teacher. And I know I could get a job teaching here in New York. Are you, are you saying you're here to stay? It's not a question of choosing you or my job. It's finding a balance and, and keeping our perspective. I know all about perspective. <laughs> and anatomy. Yes. Brush strokes and oils. <laughs> And oil, <laughs> and lines, and curves, <laughs> and collages, <laughs> and assemblages, <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> 